three, four days e-bike trip around the whole island. We're gonna sleep on, on the floor in like sleeping bags and some pillow. We need to grab one for UNAS and then we can like go. I'm just setting up the bikes. We didn't plan anything, not even the commendation. The purpose of this e-bike trip is to have a kind of retreat. Blaze uh, worried a lot and he just wanted to distract himself from his business. And for, for me, it's pretty much the same. I didn't work that much, but I need to just rest for a few days without thinking anything about business. Let's get going. Four days, we got yeah. Galos and everywhere. Yes, Eunice is gonna be a pussy because he already got tired from like a 200 meter ascension. It's gonna be 8,000 meter ups and downs, man. 8,000 meter. You did like. Let's, let's remember what you, what you just said when you are behind me and 8, I'm. 8,000 meter. I'm gonna That's all I'm saying. 8,000. Bye, guys. This guy. I'm gonna <laughs> smash the road. You, you You're just gonna left him on the me. side of the road. Okay, hang on a second. Unreliable fucking e bikes. People can't trust an e bike. We literally just started and uh, an error message occurred in the display already. Let's go back, man. I, I don't know what to do. Seriously, this is fucked up. I know, last time it was working, but it's just not working this time. Alright, guys, so this is gonna be take two. They said they fixed it, so I'm just gonna turn it on. You ready, Yunus? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go, buddy. On our first day, we started cycling on the south part of the island and we did close to a thousand meter ascension and a total of 36 km all the way to Kaleta Beach. Oh! The bay! <laughs> A kind stranger who's been living on this island without accommodation for a month showed us a nice place to stay for the night. And the next morning we sneaked into a hotel to have breakfast, then continued our journey. Sunny weather, huge mountains, endless long tunnels and good mood. We wanted to visit Jordi Dumar and Paul Dumar, however the tunnel connecting the two villages were not ready, so we spent a lot of time on serpentine roads and decided to spend the night in Paul Dumar next to the sea. Day number two of being homeless. Seems you're not alright. Yeah, What's happened, Blaze? Too much fun. You, you always need some adrenaline. <laughs> you fell on the ground. I slipped. And it was amazing. Yeah, it was great. Since yesterday we could only get from Caleta Beach to Paul Dumar, then back to Jardim Dumar, today we had a long plan ahead with a total of close to 2,000 meter ascension and 60 km of bike riding. So we crossed the middle of the island through a valley all the way to Porto Moniz and then from there we went to Sechal and from Sechal we went to Sao Vincent when we were planning to stay for the night. Blaze, 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 blaze. Unfortunately, one bike had some technical issues but the rental company sent a car to get it fixed. The heat was crazy but our good mood was even crazier as we were crossing the island through a valley. We stopped at the famous natural pools at Porto Moniz and also at Sechal for a quick backflip. We had 81 km per hour. It was amazing and very scary at the same time. We're gonna spend the night in Sao Vincent. <laughs> it was always hard to find places to charge the bike because a full charge took around 6 hours, so we tried to ask for some help this time, but we didn't have much luck. <laughs> Yeah, I learned Portuguese. Bom dia, os amores de hoje não Wow, hoje não wow, tudo bem. Com Paul, for now, wow. You happy? We just found a place where we can charge our bike, so problem solved. It's been a long day, we are very tired, so we're gonna leave them here in a restaurant. We go sleep in a park. Okay. You wanna go sleep? Let's go sleep. Let's go. We had a rough night next to a restaurant with cockroaches, so we rose early and headed our way to Porto da Cruz. Bro, I think these are one of the quests when that we should give up. Bro, we should get it. <laughs> no, <laughs> bro, this is this is dangerous. I think. <laughs> this guy is. Are you sure? Do you reckon I should go?
For the last day, we spent nothing special, just paving in the sea, then heading back to Fung Chal and eating some good food. We decided to save some cash and spend the night under the stars one last time before leaving this amazing island. Hey guys, I want to show you today's transformation. He was once a dentist, now he became homeless. <laughs> This is a new evolution because not using his sleeping bag anymore. He's literally just like laying down. Uh, this is day number five, six. I don't even know, man. Sleep out. Thanks for coming with us on this journey. Hopefully, we could inspire some of you to go out and organize some fun trips with your friends, go wild, and create some memories. Peace. This is life.